blood play stations, mm -hmm. uh, even some of the timber resources from Africa are being, are being pillaged. Uh, so we even have blood timber. And so the result of this is that as Africa becomes a much more of a source mm -hmm. of natural resources and raw, raw goods, especially oil and uranium, now we see a greater intervention of the U.S. military in mm -hmm. Africa through what's called the African Command. Mm -hmm. uh, and so now we have uh, a much greater intervention, mm -hmm. military, U.S. military in sub-Saharan Africa, mm -hmm. especially under the guise of fighting against terrorism. terrorism. You know, we've uh -huh. heard that before. Mm -hmm. But actually, it's another move to put in place uh, a secure force mm -hmm. uh, in order to extract Expe these uh -huh. products. Mm -hmm. And it's basically the same thing mm -hmm. that happened in Iraq, mm -hmm. whereas now we know that after this long conflict, mm -hmm. the military is moving out of, the, out of Iraq and oil companies are moving into Iraq. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so the same thing now is happening in, in Africa. Mm -hmm. And again, the byproducts of oil and energy resource exploitation and strategic mineral exploitation mm -hmm is people are being exposed to all kinds suffering of, of the people of, and, uh, of, in other words all over africa and they, well what about pakistan you know the recent uh, floods in uh, pakistan what what impact do you think that that will have well um, that again is you know uh, lack of access to resources to mitigate mm -hmm. uh, these types of things and some of the solutions that have been put forth uh in haiti uh, in, in fact, in Africa, there's a Dr. Wangari Maathai, mm -hmm. who was the first uh, African woman mm -hmm. to win a Nobel Peace Prize. She actually used environmental remediation mm -hmm. uh, as a means to bring peace mm -hmm. to Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, and we see um, the, the Greenleaf movement mm -hmm. in Haiti uh, is another movement, an environmental based movement, which says if we improve the earth and our surroundings, mm -hmm. then we can bring peace. And mm -hmm. I think that's a global movement mm -hmm. that's largely built upon small grassroots organizations mm -hmm. all over the world uh, that is bringing a solution to some of these environmental injustices globally. Very good. And of course, Dr. Patrick, let me uh, thank you uh, for all of that uh, information and uh, tell you how much we appreciate that because uh, uh, no matter what we say, people are still suffering uh, and, and, and we, we certainly don't want to uh, uh, encourage that. And I think that you're doing everything that you can to keep that from happening. And let me encourage our